Hey guys, I'm Rachel, and today I bring to you my top five favorite nudes. So let's jump right into it. My favorite lip to wear of all time would always be a nude lip or a red lip. And I already did a video on my top five favorite red lips. I'll link it on top. Is that eye that you'll see. You can click it to look at it and come right back here. Okay. So nudes can look different from person to person. It all depends on your skin tone. My preference for nude lips would always be peachy tones, the pinky tones, beige tones, and sometimes pinky tones with a little mauve in there. Like I feel like those nudes with those sort of tones complement my skin tone really well. So nudes can look different from person on person to person. Also, you can manipulate your nude lip with liners and lip glosses. Now speaking of liners, if you're a brown girl like me, a brown lip liner is a necessity. No one wants to walk around looking like they just ate a powdered donut. Please invest in a very good brown lip liner. This will just make everything blend really nice with your skin tone and you don't look like you had chalk on your lips. Oh no! So that's one way you can manipulate your nude lips with a brown lip liner or whatever lip liner you choose to use. I like using a BFF3 from Colourpop, Cork from MAC, Bite Me from Morphe, um, Plum from MAC. Um, another way you can manipulate a nude lip to adjust it to fit your skin tone better is also using a gloss. And I love using Neat Freak from Colourpop and uh, the Fenty Glass Bomb, the original one. It's, I love them because they're glossy and they don't have too much color to them so they don't change my lip color too too much but they make them look nice so um let's jump right into my favorite do lips also yeah. I, I should also mention that they are very uh drugstore friendly as well with the exception of one so let's start with the one that i'm wearing which is wet and wild dare it all let's do a little swatch and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna butcher the swatches of these lips. Here we have the Wet n Wild Bear It All um, lipstick. I am wearing it on my lips right now. It's like pink with a little brown in it. Um, and it's so comfortable and it's so, so affordable. These lipsticks are less than $3. They last very well. They are matte with a little sheen to it it's not like too creamy it's not too mad it's just a very nice in between and they last very well on your lips talk about would be Colourpop and Shayla Ooh. <laughs> they come in this pretty pretty packaging and this is what it looks like swatch as you can see next to the wet and wild bear it all it looks very uh has a peach undertone which I love uh, very much they are also matte um and they last very well. I feel like in the beginning, when you just apply the Colourpop lipsticks, they can seem kind of hard to work with and to settle on your lips, if that makes sense. But once they're settled, um, they last really, really well on your lips as well. And they are not uncomfortable. They are very comfortable. Comfortable. Quickie. Lips. Here we have a quickie. Focus thing. Boom, hole. <laughs> and as you can see, it's of a lighter pink looking at all three it's of a pink undertone the first one bear it all has a pink undertone too but it's a deeper pink mixed with brown in my opinion so quickly is very much of a lighter pink formula that i just explained it is a very comfortable matte on your lips and they last very very well the next one we're going to talk about is a mac peach stock mac peach stock and this is what it looks like it is of a peach undertone but more of a beigey peach undertone if you can see the difference in all the lips like this is of a pink undertone but with some brown in it this one is peachy this one is pinky this one is peachy too but a lighter peachy color i swear i am butchering this swatch i'm not good at this but i just have to let you guys know my top favorite uh, five lipsticks and the mac one is a satin finish so it, it's not cream and it's not matte it's just a nice medium um and if you ask me i feel like mac uh, lipsticks are the best lipsticks out there like the formulation is like on point like no no other lipstick brand 
can do it for me like a mac lipstick those in the bullets and even the liquid lips they are the last one is a color pop midi this one is a liquid one and i like using liquid lips when i'm going out for an event or i'm going out at night because they tend to last pretty long on the lips and this is what it looks like here we have midi and midi if you can see well this one has more it's a pink undertone too but it's more of a mauve pink undertone and it dries and it looks so pretty on the lips um like i said it's a liquid lip so it's gonna last you if you if you're someone who has issues with liquid lips you can always use a lip gloss over top and i am gonna mention this one other lipstick that you can also use over top this the maybelline lipstick in a uh, beige babe let me swatch it next uh, in the beginning so you can see it there it is here now this lipstick is nice on its own i like using it to manipulate other lipsticks so if you if you, you're wearing a lip that you want maybe to look lighter or like it's too matte or something you can always just put some of this over top to manipulate it more and change the color of it this works well with liquid lipsticks although it says it's a matte lip i don't feel like it's not like a thick matte it's more of a thinner formula matte lip um so it just works well to put over top um other lipsticks to help change the color and adjust it more to fit your needs so here we have them the swatches of my uh, favorite nude lips so there we have it my top five favorite nude lips I would link everything in the description box down below so if you you're probably interested in one that I mentioned you can check that out they are very brown girl friendly and once you have a brown lip liner you cannot go wrong with using um, any of the nude lips that I mentioned. Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. If you haven't already and you're looking, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads. You can also follow me on all my social media. You can also follow me on all my social media, Shades of Chels and Chels Edition. I will link everything in the description box as usual. I am a nail technician and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. So all the information of how to book me and so and sorts would be in the description box. So until then, let's continue to change the world one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next tutorial on what's today? Sunday. <laughs> Bye.